Dear President, dear Minister, cher Michel Barnier, honorable members, it is now just over four years since the UK's letter triggering its withdrawal from the European Union was ceremoniously handed over after its journey from London to Brussels. Looking back, that event now feels like a theatrical footnote of Brexit history. And part of the reason it feels so distant is because so much has happened between the EU and the UK since then. This agreement comes with real teeth, with a binding dispute settlement mechanism and the possibility for unilateral remedial measures where necessary. And let me be very clear, we do not want to have to use these tools, but we will not hesitate to use them if necessary. They are essential to ensure full compliance with the TCA and with the withdrawal agreement, which both were negotiated in such fine details and agreed by both sides. Honorable members, on this point of compliance, I know that there was some reluctance in different parts of the House on whether it is right to ratify this agreement when existing commitments are not being respected by one side. I agree with you that this agreement on paper is only as good as implementation and enforcement in practice. And I share the concerns you have on unilateral actions taken by the United Kingdom since the agreement came into provisional application. We have obviously seen a number of issues arise since then. Some were to be expected, others are teething issues, and many are the consequence of the type of Brexit the UK chose. But regardless of the reasons, we need to focus on joint solutions. Unilateral decisions will get us nowhere. And this is one of the reasons Ratification is so important. It will give us the tools we need to ensure full and faithful compliance with the obligations which both sides signed up to. And it will also focus minds on finding pragmatic solutions where they are needed, most urgently around the protocol of Ireland and Northern Ireland. And on this front, I am glad to report some progress on the work being led by Vice President Sefcovic as co-chair of the Withdrawal Agreement Joint Committee. In recent days and weeks, we have seen a new constructive dynamic and we will continue to work closely with the UK to find constructive solutions that respect what was agreed. We need solutions, not sound bites if we are to make the protocol work for the benefit of everyone in Northern Ireland. Honourable members, we know it will not always be easy and there is a lot of vigilance, vigilance and hard work ahead of us. But while today's vote is obviously an end, it is also the beginning of a new chapter. The choice is now whether today's vote will be the high watermark of the EU-UK relations for the next decades, or whether we see this as the foundation of a strong and close partnership based on our shared values and interests. Only history will tell what road is taken, although I hope for the latter. But either way, this agreement is essential to help us move forward. And either way, the task will be just as momentous as it was in that letter four years ago.